Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install this incandescent trailer taillight from Peterson. Let's get started. So this is an incandescent bulb, which means a couple things. It's going to be more prone to breaking over time, just not lasting as long. It's going to be less energy efficient and as it runs, it's going to run a little bit more hot than an LED one might. So personally, I would go with an LED taillight, but that's just me. This one still will get the job done. It's got all your normal functions like the running light here, your turn signal, and your brake lights. And it's gonna be plenty bright to see in most applications, so I'm not worried about any sort of visibility at night. You do have a durable polycarbonate lens on the outside here, so it'll be impact resistant. And the whole unit here is sealed, so if you plan on putting this on a boat trailer, something that's gonna be in and around water, it is fully submersible and waterproof, so we don't have to worry about any sort of water intrusion. Now, getting this installed is going to be pretty straightforward and simple. You will need a couple of things, but we'll cover that in the install, so let's check that out now. Once we've got the old light removed, we can grab our new one, and you'll notice that there isn't really anywhere to mount it up. You will need to pick up this grommet separately. Basically, the light housing will sit inside of the grommet here, you can see it kind of wraps around the back and holds it in place. And then this is actually what's gonna help us mount the light flush with the trailer here. This flange here will wrap around. So we'll go ahead and plug our light in and make that happen. So we can take our industry standard PL3 plug and just plug that into the light. Now, if you don't have that plug on your trailer side, you can pick that up separately here at eTrailer. Just be sure to Check the website to pick that up. Plug that in like that, and then just tuck all the wiring into this portion of the trailer here. And we can attach the light. I typically like to start at the top or bottom and just sort of push it into place. You'll see that seal around it. You'll, see it, you'll feel it kind of pop into place. But we'll just do that around the whole light here to get it mounted up. With everything plugged in, we can go ahead and test for function. We've got our running lights, our turn signal, and our brake lights. Once we verify that all of those signals are working, we can go ahead and hit the road. And that'll do it for our look at this Peterson incandescent trailer taillight. Thanks for watching.